how to make sauerkraut at home. When you make sauerkraut at home, it turns out better when you make it from two or more cabbages. For every medium-sized cabbage, you will need one tablespoon of iodine-free salt. Using carrot is optional and you can use as much or as little as you want. You will need non-reactive container large enough to fit your cabbage. For more uniform slices, cut your cabbage in half with three ridges on one side and two ridges on the other side. Remove outer leaves to make sure your cabbage is nice and clean. Slice your cabbage as thick or as thin as you want. The choice is yours. If you're making your sauerkraut from multiple cabbages, do them separately. One cabbage, one carrot, one tablespoon of salt. Simply just to make sure all your cabbage will fit in the container you've chosen. Because in the beginning you have a lot of cabbage and it will shrink a lot once you massage salt into it and put press on the top. Massage your cabbage with salt until it starts releasing juices. It will take a few minutes. Off to the next cabbage. Repeat the process. Three ridges on one side, two ridges on the other side. Cut in between. You can cut your cabbage into quarters just to make it easier to work with. So we got our all ingredients in. Cabbage, carrot and salt. Cabbage is well massaged and released lots and lots of juices. Press it down with your hand and put some press on the top of it, something made of non-reactive material. I use round plate. Press it well. On the top of that, put something heavy. I use 2 liter mason jar filled with water. Put it somewhere out of your way, room temperature, for the next 3 to 7 days. In 24 to 48 hours, your cabbage should release enough juices to cover it all the way to the top. Once a day, mix your cabbage with non-reactive spoon to aerate it and to prevent from forming mold. And again, press it down and put your press back on. If for any reason your cabbage did not release enough juices to come up all the way to the top, you can make brine using one liter or four cups of water and one tablespoon of salt. Dissolve salt in the water and just add enough so your cabbage is covered with the brine. After about three days, your sauerkraut will start smell and, and taste like sauerkraut. You can stop at that point or you can go on and ferment it a little longer if you like it on a more sour side. It's up to you. Store your sauerkraut in non-reactive container of your choice, or Ziploc bags like I do. You can use your sauerkraut as a side dish, add it to soups and stews. It pairs up nicely with marinated hot peppers. The link will be under the video. The sky is the limit. Please enjoy.